Hey everyone, Lou with Bergen Pickers here. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for coming back and checking out one of my latest finds. Um, it is quite a rare variation to um, the Hot Wheels line. And it's a, a Datsun Z-Wiz. So it's just called Z-Wiz. Um, it originally debuted in 1977 in the Flying Color series. And was produced until 1984. It was designed by Larry Wood. The one and only. Um, so the Z-Wiz was also um, released internationally three different times or like three different variations there's the Italian version the French version which is this one and the Mexican version um, the Z was was the first Japanese import to be made into the casting uh, in Hot Wheels history so that is pretty cool and that's why it's it's pretty pretty collectible so what is special about this one is that it's extremely hard to find. Uh, Mattel opened a, a factory or a production line in, in France. I believe it was 1983-1984 and I think that was it. And they released uh, certain cars um, in the Black Walls area. Black Walls, I'm referring to the wheels, the type of wheels that these are. And I'm just going to spin this car around on its base in a little bit. So just bear with me and I'm going to tell you what it, what it sold for. Um, which floored me actually and and that's closer to the end of the video but uh it just essentially i was surprised because i had uh, bought a collection a long time ago and um i was just going through hot wheels you know because they're they're fun to to sell and they're fun to look at and i obviously i used to play with them and i have an affinity for them i used to collect them as well and, and still do actually and you know, I had never seen this variation, and I looked at it, and I'm like, okay, well, w what am I looking at here? Why can't I find this anywhere? And I started looking into it, and I realized that the base, which I'm going to show you in a second after I give it a little spin a row, um, you know, says that France. So it doesn't say Malaysia like you're used to seeing in this era, or, or Hong Kong, um, or Macau, or anything like that, you know. It said uh, France, and I was like, okay, well, that's interesting. I it didn't give it too much thought, but I looked into it and realized, okay, wow, this is this is a pretty rare find. After I start, you know, googling, you know, the color of the vehicle and the, you know that it was made in France, and then you started looking on eBay, and I know you, you don't get your hopes up when you go on eBay. You don't get your hopes up. I know a lot of folks go on eBay to be like, okay, well, what's my car worth? So. I just want to note one thing about this particular car. It has absolutely no usage. Um, the gentleman who I purchased these cars from took them out of the blisters. I wish he didn't, but he did. He took them out of the blister packs, but he never displayed them and used them. He just used to collect them, put them in um, plastic bags, like little Ziploc bags, and uh, place them... Um, inside carrying cases and that's it and he used to keep it in his house not in the garage or an attic okay so these were never played with and you can tell that this one in particular has absolutely no signs of wear um, I saw one recently sell on eBay for a high amount of money that was still in the blister pack and the blister pack looked different uh, the French version than what we used to here in the States you know here in the States we have the, the long cardboard or, or card and with the plastic blister where the vehicles are in. In France, it was just like a short one. It was, you know, kind of small. So, uh, this one in particular has, like, absolutely no paint wear whatsoever, which I thought was amazing. And, you know, it's usually hard to find to begin with, especially from the, you know, 1980s and older. So, that's nice. Uh, the one that I saw selling on eBay for a lot of money... Uh, was still in the original blister pack, but it had paint wear on top of the roof stripe right there. So I don't like handling cars like this too much, um, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you the bottom very carefully. There we go. And that's what that looks like. And I'm going to bring it in just for a closer review. Hopefully that focuses in. It doesn't seem... Anyways... On the top plate right there, it's like a nameplate, it says France. Um, then Z-Wiz with the trademark logo, and then the copyright logo Mattel, Inc. And I believe that does say 1976. 
So, 1976, again, that was the first casting for the 1977 release. So this is not how old this car is. This one's from 1983. Anywho, I've bored you enough. <laughs> so, um, this vehicle, this exact vehicle, sold to um, a collector, which I'm shipping out today, and it sold for $300. <clears throat> yeah, I found out it's, it's a pretty rare variation, um, especially in this condition. Um, so, yay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you think you learned something today or you enjoyed the video, please like it. Please leave, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, maybe I can answer them or leave it for somebody else. And, yeah, um, tune in for more. I'll be seeing you guys soon. Thank you.